Hey guys, it's been a long while since I've released any new videos, so I wanted to give you guys an update on what is going on, and I wanted to take this time to tell you guys a little bit about myself and what my intentions are for this YouTube channel. I have almost hit 10,000 subscribers now, and I have been growing pretty steadily since I began late last year on the same day as the Great American Eclipse, and it seems like I am hitting a vein here with a lot of the subjects that I'm talking about. I created this YouTube because I was honestly getting bored of listening to all of these other conspiracy theorists and so-called spiritual gurus who just don't see the entire bigger picture here, and I believe that I bring a very unique perspective here that no one else has from what I have seen here so far. I know a lot of you must be wondering how I come up with all this crazy stuff about all these conspiracies and quantum physics, and I just want to let you guys know everything I come up with is original and unique to my own perspective. If I could just give you guys all the information that's inside my head that I could put in one video, then I would. But unfortunately, there is just so much information out there that I have to slowly disseminate to you guys so that it all makes sense in the end. And what really got me motivated was the events surrounding the Great American Eclipse and 923. I've always been someone who is not afraid to go deep down the rabbit hole to find out what is really going on in this world and to question everything. And what I started to find out was that it wasn't the answers that I was really looking for. My journey has just become to find even more questions. I know that sounds weird, but I'm going to explain to you my circular logic. It's hard for me to tell you everything that is going on in my head that paints the bigger picture and what truth really is and what it can be. This is why I started with the 923 prophecies because to me it is comparative to why George Lucas began Star Wars near the ending because it's hard to explain the story without giving the ending first because we are literally at the end times and there is a circular way of realizing this what and what the end times really means. And what again was my overall conclusion to 923 and the prophecy it fulfilled? I know many of you haven't read the Bible or have read it and still don't understand it or just choose to ignore it. But when I'm telling you that literally every prophecy has become fulfilled up till now and that I can prove almost every single one, would you even believe me? Or would you choose to remain ignorant? History shows that people love to remain ignorant because ignorance is bliss, right? And when I say and believe that we are all really one being, I really and truly believe that. But we as sentient beings have been given a chance to separate ourselves from that oneness where we determine our own self-will and destiny. So we experience this sort of duality of us being separate from one another. So how do we all come back together? This is where that circular, this is where that circular logic comes into play. I don't just want to create these videos as a sort of this is the entire truth because this is because this is only my personal truth and this is coming from my unique perspective, which I try to always look at everything at a more universal level. I always think to myself, how will my actions affect the balance of the galaxy? Because everything is a choice, even doing nothing is a choice. All we have is choices in life and our only reward is experiences. People love money because it affords them more experiences where if you were super rich, you wouldn't have to worry about the more mundane purposes of life, like working at a 9 to 5 job, or if you can afford to take that vacation whenever you want. Experience is all we have at the end. Even if we die and go to a dark place, I believe that our dreams will live on. So will we really be dead? Let me ask you, if you died right now, would you know that you were dead? How does one experience death? Because if the definition is true and at death you experience nothing, then how would you know that you were ever re even really alive? So I personally believe that death cannot be experienced because how can one ever prove it? Even if someone who has died and come back usually speaks of seeing another world beyond this and, is usually and it is usually accompanied by a more peaceful feeling. We can die in a sense that death is only a door to more life. That might sound contradictory and most of what I will tell you will sound that way until you are able to have a more circular kind of logic. And I will teach you how to think this way and you will begin to notice your world changing around you. And I will show you in essence how to become immortal. So follow me on this quest if you dare and try to follow me with an open mind. I don't really care what you believe and I don't even really care what I believe because my beliefs are always changing. Nothing is ever set in stone, not even the past. And I'm not married to any belief because everything is fluid and things are always evolving around you. How do you consider the time you spent for the last 10 years of your life? Have they gone by with the same mundane experiences day to day? 
or have you changed at all since then? Have you evolved or de-evolved in your beliefs? And my highest beliefs is that everything holds truth. It's really that simple for me. Even if you came up to me and told me a lie, in that lie I would find more truth because the truth cannot remain hidden from those who seek it persistently. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my background. I grew up very religious and I was caught often reading spiritual texts like the Bible. I grew up learning about it almost every day. I had even served a full-time mission for two years of my life where I was told to share the gospel. During those two years, I, re I researched basically every major religion and found out that everybody was saying the exact same thing. After the end of my two-year mission, I left my church and haven't been back since. I realized that you can't put truth in this box and expect it to never change. Everything changes and nothing remains the same for long. So when I left, I started researching all kinds of other interesting subjects like quantum physics, aliens, conspiracy theories, and even the more new agey material. And after accumulating and sifting through all this information, I began to realize that everything was connected. There was nothing that wasn't somehow connected to something else. Everything from the microcosm to the macrocosm is affected in this reciprocal field where, uni where universal objects like the moon or even the planets have a real effect on us. And if this isn't common knowledge to you, then I will prove it to you once I'm done making all my videos that I want to show you. I will tell you how the entire universe works together in constant synchronization. And for those that are constantly getting triggered by my videos, I have to ask you, why are you so triggered? Because this reality, your reality, is only a mirror into your eternal self. Like I have said before, the microcosm and the macrocosm, and the macrocosm, or in this case, the internal and external self, are always, are always interacting with each other. Many of us have ignored that internal self, and this is why the world has become so imbalanced, because people have ignored parts of the entire truth, and this is why we see our world continually at the midnight hour until doomsday. And remember, this is just my personal truth, that you don't have to believe me, and I really don't care either way, but it's not really the content that I'm necessarily wanting you to believe in, it's the concepts surrounding them. The intent of my videos is to open your minds, that really everything can be connected and is connected, and this is why I don't discount anything to truth. If the universe is one being, and it all boils down to energy, which is just light or information, then everything is everything. Everything is this energy, and the energy is everything. Are you starting to see how circular logic works? Whereas, it may seem like a contradiction at first, but in a quantum reality, you can reconcile anything together. So I have added all these subjects together, and it has given me a well-rounded view of everything that is going on. And I gotta admit, it is far more exciting than anything I could have ever imagined myself. Or maybe this is all my imagination, because who can really prove that we are all alive to begin with? Who can prove that anything really exists? Because if you have ever studied quantum mechanics, you would understand that energy can exist as a particle or a wave, and it can change with the mere observation of it, which means to me that we can ultimately change our reality to whatever we want it to be. But most people are not aware that they collectively have this power the power to change the world in an instant if they truly set their mind to it. And through these videos, I'm hoping to paint a broad picture where you guys can see that life is very beautiful and the magnificent story it tells. Life might seem chaotic at first, but it is an order, but it is an orderly chaos, meaning that there is a story that is told and retold over and over again for who knows how long eternity for all we know, and that is why you have seen this story repeated throughout our entire recorded history. I find it ironic that people who discount the Bible because it was a story that has been reused by every civilization since the Sumerians over 6,000 years ago, but to me that shows more of the validity of it. Like I said before, if you discount the Bible, you are only focusing on the microcosm and not looking at the bigger picture. You have to see the bigger picture here and ask more questions instead of thinking you have all the answers. Ask yourself, what if this story is very important to us because why else would it have been told over and over again throughout the centuries? Ever watch the movie or read the book, The Never Ending Story? What if these events happen every couple of thousand years? And that is why so many believe that the return of Jesus is coming very soon, because the universe runs on a universal clock, just like how we do here in the microcosm. And this clock holds the secrets to our destiny, 
which I will show to you guys later on in my videos. I can't wait to show you guys more. I have a lot of good videos that will be coming up soon and try to understand that I'm trying to make these videos entertaining with a little more production value than most of the other channels out there produce. I honestly don't enjoy just me sitting here on my computer hitting the record button and just talking while clicking on some different websites. It takes me a long time, about 40 to 90 hours to finish a video and I don't do this full time and I finally got a new laptop where I can actually speed up the production time a lot quicker because it doesn't crash on me every 5 minutes anymore. So I took a break from making videos until I had my new computer and now that I have it expect a lot more videos to come from me in a more consistent manner. Anyways, I just wanted to give you a little more insight in why I make these videos and why I might sound crazy. But remember, craziness is right next to genius, but it's important to not get consumed by it. Always stay in balance with your microcosm and macrocosm. And if you guys enjoy listening to me and watching my videos, be sure to follow me on Twitter at FutureMan19, where I usually post my thoughts to almost every day. Thank you guys for watching and take care.